Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 7th of 2020. Well, it is titled Halo of the Cat's Eye. So what do we see here? Well, at the center of this is the Cat's Eye Nebula, so the very central portion here. And that is an example of a planetary nebula. Now, a planetary nebula has nothing to do with planets, but is actually the end state of a star much like our own sun. So when a star reaches the end of its life, it becomes unstable. It loses energy sources, which cause the core to contract. And while the core contracts, the outer layers will expand. So our sun will eventually become a giant and a super giant star. When in those cases, sometimes eventually the outer layers will become unstable and get pushed out into space. And that's what we see here towards the center is some of that material being pushed out into space and then being energized by the hot core of the star, which is forming a white dwarf. A white dwarf is a compact uh, star, a compact stellar remnant, which is about the size of our Earth and is compressed down about as tightly as matter can be compressed and still retain its atomic properties. Essentially, it gets pushed so close together that the electrons are repelling each other and can keep it from collapsing any further. So that's the very tiny dot at the center. The outer layer around that is the planetary nebula, a relatively short lived phase that only lasts 10,000 years or so. However, the outer layers here in this deeper image, we're seeing earlier material that may have been expelled earlier prior to the planetary nebula phase that we see towards the center. So more material. So it might tell us that the material is not expelled all at once, but it may be done in various phases over time. And in fact, we can estimate that the outer material is many tens of thousands of years old and was pushed off much longer ago. So it may show that planetary nebulae form in stages that maybe some material is pushed out, expands outward for tens of thousands of years before the final push that creates the planetary nebula and leaves the white dwarf at the center then visible to be seen. So this is sort of what we have to look forward to in about 5 billion years in our own solar system. At that point, our own sun will do something very similar to this. And a distant astronomer looking towards our sun may see something like this, where just the sun had been before. So that was our picture of the day for June the 7th of 2020. It was titled Halo of the Cat's Eye. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Venusian Sun Ring. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.